The issue of digital arrests underscores the need for both awareness and systemic improvements. While victims are often blamed for carelessness, the responsibility also lies in empowering citizens through awareness campaigns to avoid falling victim to scammers. Welcome to VAR India News R. Digital fraud requires systemic reforms from both telecommunication companies and banks. While telcos like Airtel have systems to identify spam calls, they lack similar mechanisms to prevent fraud, raising concerns about the SIM card issuance process and the absence of a system to flag suspicious numbers. Collaborative efforts among telcos to crowdsource and dynamically update suspected number databases along with whitelisting government numbers and enforcing strict compliance are essential. Additionally, addressing investigative loopholes is crucial for resolving the problem. However, to truly combat digital arrests, the roles and responsibilities of key stakeholders, especially telecommunication companies and banks, must be evaluated and addressed. In response to the rise in online fraud, banks are advising customers to remain vigilant and refrain from sharing sensitive details such as KYC information, user IDs, passwords, card details, CVV, OTPs or PINs. Along with these warnings, banks are providing tips to help customers protect themselves from emerging threats, emphasizing the need for proactive security measures. For banks, the creation of Mule accounts exposes flaws in the KYC process. A thorough KYC audit along with biometric-based verification can help mitigate these risks. Banks must be held accountable as fraudulent activities often exploit weaknesses in their systems. Strengthening oversight and accountability in both sectors is critical for effectively combating digital fraud. Going forward, integrating business logic into core banking systems can reduce money transfer to Mule accounts by flagging suspicious beneficiary additions. AI can help identify patterns and connections, providing early detection of fraud and enabling proactive action. This com combination of smart banking and AI can significantly combat digital fraud. Let's look into today's headlines. YouTube Exploring AI-Powered Music Remixes YouTube is testing the possibility of remixing music with a new AI-driven feature that will allow creators to restyle licensed songs for their shots. The company has launched a limited trial of this feature named Dream Track. This enables creators to use artificial intelligence to customize various elements of a song, including its mood, genre and tempo. Once prompted, the AI will generate a unique 30-second remix that can be used in YouTube Shots. Geo's 5G network reportedly can extend smartphone battery life by up to 40%. Reliance Geo Infocom has claimed that its 5G network can reduce power consumption, resulting in extended smartphone battery life by 40% due to the advantages of its standalone 5G network. According to the details provided, because of spectrum bandwidth assignments as per application requirements, Geo 5G network users can expect smartphone battery life improvement by 20 to 40 percent. iPhone production in India might double due to Trump's tariffs on Chinese imports. Apple is likely to increase its iPhone production in India to over $30 billion annually if the newly elected US President Donald Trump decides to impose heavy tariffs on Chinese imports. Apple currently manufactures devices worth approximately $15 to $16 billion in India. Trump, during his election campaigns, had threatened to impose tariffs of 60-100% to on goods imported from China. This could prompt Apple to shift its productions to India. NVIDIA and SoftBank Trials, world's first AI and 5G telecom network. NVIDIA and SoftBank Corp have reportedly piloted the world's first artificial intelligence and 5G telecoms network. The network can run AI and 5G workloads concurrently, a process known as an artificial intelligence radio access network that is AI RAN. Applications for the network include autonomous vehicle remote support and robotics control. SoftBank is said to have been the first to receive its new Blackwell chip designs, which it is incorporating into the AI supercomputer it is developing. CDOT signs strategic partnerships to advance indigenous telecom. 
The Center for Development of Telematics, that is CDOT, has signed key strategic collaborations with key institutions to strengthen India's telecom infrastructure and self-reliance in advanced technology. Aimed at bolstering India's self-reliance in telecommunication technology, these agreements are aligned with the national vision of Atmanirbhar Bharat. This project under the TTDF scheme will leverage commercial fundry services and standard design kits, making the IP course industry ready. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.